I am definitely gonna miss my beer holder. <laughs> Let's continue. So this is the Vesna 306 BFA, Zip BFA piston. The B-high end engine. As we know it has up to 70 horsepower, 75, 74. Find the video on the channel. So we just check how these included circlips piston pin clips which are surprisingly double G not the C as we are used from the Molossi Sport are sitting and mountable in this piston We get a groove. Check. And what we want to check out is if it moves or not. That's the one who was put in within a second, as you saw before. And this is easy movable. That's the one I need a little bit longer to put in. It is again. Easy. It was the same with the first BFA piston. Twistable like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this GG clip with a Z clip and mill a small pocket here so that it is removable when you want to take out the piston again because I just like to be on the safe side if I'm a lost sport low power comes with a C-clip it is hard to set and it is barely movable look at this <laughs> you see this is how a circlip is supposed to work. To sit in this groove and to act like a spring to the outside, to clamp to the outside, that it is not movable. If a Malossi Sport low power comes with a C-clip, this 306 piston shall also have a C-clip. Because in the end, that is what state of the art defines. C-clip for high power engines. What is this based on? Just have to compare what kind of clips do other high power engines have. Honda, Yamaha, Rotax. And you will see that all of these kits do have a C-clip. Being on the safe side, use the C-clip, remove that. Chichi clip. Cheers guys. I wanna mail that small pocket for the C-clip. I'm gonna exercise at an old <laughs> piston. C clip in. Oh, that was fun at the first one. As yeah, it's a little bit tight here. There's an edge that is usually not when there are C clips. What I guess. Do man. Short skirt goes towards the intake. Where do I like it more to set? Turn it like this. So we're gonna put this one in first. 
So, wish me luck. We want to have them with the opening down or up. Just to show you what it is. It's for KTM EXC and Husaberg. A Pro X C Sir clip. So I guess what's good for KTM and Husaberg is just right for this BFA engine, isn't it? So and if they use C clips, there must be a reason for it. So we just copy their knowledge and approach. Just to show you, does it turn or not? Let's see it opening to the bottom. <laughs> it does not turn at all. And that's how we want it. Oh yeah, the other thing is that it has chamfer, chamfer. It's not edgy, which means that it does actually push the circlet into the seat, not out. It pushes it in because it pushes like that. Maybe you've seen the guide. You cannot really measure it. Usually you have more than one and just take the one that doesn't clamp too much, that's not too loose. But I bet they know what they're doing here. A C sir clip in the seat of a G or GG clip. The openings of the C clip shall be to the bottom or to the top. How I recommend based on these two engines, these two pistons I made. Um, to put it in, first of all, of course, you need a, a small pocket here so that you can get the C clip out again. But how to put it in? When the opening is here, push the body in the groove here and then just clip clip the ends into the seat exhaust port nozzle if you realize something look at the cylinder there is no seal ring not only that is it's really really light Aluminium, that's the wrong material, it has to be steel. Also the O-ring, the seal ring is missing. It's just missing, it's not here. To compare prices, is about 120, 110. And if I just look to uh, Malossi Sport MK2, which also has now a removable snoozle, now it's a nozzle, it's steel, it's way more heavier. It has a seal ring, of course, and furthermore, it just costs about 30, 40 euros. So this is really not nice, guys. This is bad engineering. It's just, yeah. Quality of material and parts can not be on the first place with this approach. Anyways, let's mount it. Just for good conscience. I mean, yeah, I know, it's only 300 degrees, yo, whatever. Can't find the other black one that I bought somewhere. Some wind, somewhere. Yeah, 
Yeah, seal ring would not have hurt, would it? Come on, guys. What I've learned, by the way, there's the matches inside. You can see it here. There's an edge, there's an edge. So there's a big two stroke tuning group on Facebook, not only one. But just ask, what's this about? Shall we remove it or not? And the answer was, do not remove it, leave it as it is. Better would be just to have the appropriate diameter, but this is needed for the uh, backwards wave for of the exhaust, whatever, and that's where I just turn off. I have my simple cooking recipe for rotary valve tuning. I can also do reed valve. I mean reed valve everywhere. Everybody can do reed valve, it's very simple. Rotary valve is not so simple. That's why it's more fun for me. And yeah. So just leave these edges. They do make sense. So now music mode is on. Jeez, guys. Okay, just a small statement to the piston ring pin in the middle of the boost port is fine. It is a small port, it cannot be. Exhaust port side, of course, because it's a really big port. Transfer ports are also very wide, so it is in the middle here. And why is it not here where there is no port? The thing is, what I read up and found out is that the rings are moving, and if it is not exactly at the opposite side of the exhaust port, it's differently moving, and this is not ideal. Ideal is when it is moving on both sides the same in regards of I say we're out at the exhaust port side so back to music mode I am definitely gonna miss my beer holder <laughs> Let's continue.
Swish evaluation, how you how you do it. If you have a head like this, which is standing inside the engine, you have to measure the distance from here, this edge, to where it sits on the cylinder. That's 2.4. And then you measure the piston below top, PBT as I call it. You know, you see it stops somewhere. You always measure that where the piston pin sits. Not here. Here. I mean, it would be similar, but just to do it properly. And this is 4.5. This is 2.4, which means we do have a squish of 2.1. Doesn't matter. It is going to be a gentle setup with a box exhaust, a touring setup. Let's mount the head and I'm going back to music mode. Cheers guys, that's life. I got some quail. I got 
here my 2000 kilometer young Quattrini M244 and before taking out the piston I want to just document quickly the piston pin circlip how does it sit is it loose is it tight 2000 kilometer the engine has between 30 and 35 horsepower we have here the opening between here and here let's see if we can move it <laughs> we can a bit, but we cannot really move it and let's start with the used ones and let's get a used p200 epx200 so i take this tool and we will we'll check if they move or not if they easily move or not does move but not very easy we have a 152 port super 150 or so from the 60s <laughs> does it move at all it does but it's it's quite tight next one Polini 177 it is a Asso piston. It's a good one. Let's go beams here. Check out the other guy. X beam check. So is this circlip in the seat movable or not? A bit or not. Next one. That's uh, an old Malossi 210 Asso piston. The new one is a vertex and it has the circle here can we move it it is movable not much but a bit it needs some strength then another Asso piston, the famous 210, 213, 215 Asso with a lot of holes, missing connection here. Yeah, the bigger the better. You guessed right, it is a Pinasco 215. Let's see if we can move this. A screwed up Polini 177 also us. These holes don't matter. No worries. It's a friend. <laughs> he never set the carburetor right. You even could hear it. We told him more than once. He did not set it right and then killed the cylinder and the piston. It is moving on. Okay, these were the used pistons. Let's get it on with the new one. Meteor PX200 piston from Grossport. What's the difference? Windows are exactly the same, also inside the same, but it has thinner piston rings. That's gonna be the O tuning light. The next one. For the world travelers, check it out. It's coming up with some review over the last 35,000 kilometers with the version 1 O tuning light. So, it has this one, and let's move it. You got to move it, move it. You got to move it. You know it's on, do you? Movable, but. And from here. Not that easy. It does sit quite tight. BX200. This is the current. Whoops. <laughs> the current. Malossi Sport 210 piston. The Vertex. Not also anymore. And it has the C clip.
<laughs> yeah. It does sit good and tight. More of it will do. But it needs certain strength. Molossi. Let's continue with the Chrono. VMC Chrono? No, wrong. That's the VMC Chrono. It is a piston from Meteor. It's all the C circlet. Let's see. You don't need strength. It's it's good. It's movable. It needs strength. So slowly we get the impression how circlips are supposed to sit in the seat. This is the VMC super cheap piston. It's the same as the Stelvio. Rather from the, the efficient side, but still okay. Let's see how this circlip moves. Oh, even less than the Malossi and the Corona. It does, but okay. And the last but <laughs> <laughs> a beast! Sorry, yeah. Bist du denn, was ist das ein Beast jetzt? <laughs>